Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. Uh, today, we are going to be playing Backbone with your host, your lovely host, Fallen Wolf. Arrgh! Oops, hold on, ignore that. If I can get it to work, please work. There we go. Um, so, this is going to be a bit of a different game. Uh, Backbone is a game... I also probably should fix some controls. Uh, now, Backbone is a game that I've heard a lot about over the past few months. Uh, I actually played the prologue chapter, which was released as a demo a few months back. Um, completely free, of course. And I had actually planned on... I had actually planned on playing it, on, you know, on, uh, recording me playing the demo and, you know, uh, giving it away to, um, you know, po posting it on, um, posting it on YouTube, but then I decided not to, I, then I found the game came out, and I was gonna end up buying it, but I have Xbox Game Pass, which, uh, the game was released on day one when it came out. Now, I'm gonna give some quick, uh, disclaimers before I start. I, oh, besides the demo, I haven't touched this game. Um, I have played a little bit of the final release, but it was the prologue chapter. So I haven't played anything besides the prologue. I did also want to say that I do not know any spoilers. I have, I don't know anything about this game. Um, I have not, I have not, um, looked up any spoilers. I have looked at reviews. I will be completely honest. I have looked at some reviews. And currently, I'm actually a little surprised from what I've seen. The game has mixed reviews. Not, it's not a bad game, but I have heard that it is short. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and apparently, that that's all I'm gonna give. I, I I've heard some other things too, but not anything to spoil the game for me. So I'm curious to see how this goes. Hopefully, P hopefully this is a short series. I'm gonna tell you now. I've been told the game take can be finished at three to four hours, which is pretty freaking short. But the game's also twenty five dollars, so I'm not going to downplay the creators too much. Which, by the way, the creators of this game is the team of Egg Nut, I believe, and the publisher is Raw Fury. And no, it's not Raw Fury, Fury spelled F U R R Y. It is Fury spelled like Fury Rage. So, I'm going to be playing this. We're going to see how it goes. I'm kind of curious because, like I said, I've been hearing about this from my good friend, Blad Lloyd, whose description is down below. If you're interested, check out him. He is another fellow YouTuber who does a lot of um, visual novel games and has a wonderful, lovely, soothing voice. But anyway, with that, with that being said, we're going to get started. New game, yes. Act 1, prologue. Now, like I uh, now, like I said, I don't, I haven't played past the prologue, even for the full release. I haven't even finished the prologue in the full release, so I don't know anything besides what I played in the demo. I'm hoping this is good. Um, like I said, I've heard some things. I haven't, I don't know any spoilers though, so th anything that comes up will be a surprise for me. Ooh, and no voice acting, so that means I get to do my lovely voices, and I just missed my chance. Just enough time to clean up. Nope, oh, no, I don't want to skip the cutscene. Use left directional button to drag and drop item. Press A to read the description. Okay. Let's start by going to the living room. Toilet books. What would I just do? The great apes, the great stories. Well, toilet read. Okay, so there's nothing in here. Let's check out the window. Hard to get tired of this view. Photo chemicals. Leaving photo developers in the kitchen is a short road to poisoning. Or a great soup. That's uh, a little morbid. But yeah, uh, it's so funny I'm playing a game like this because I just, you know, I'm still currently going through Black Sad, which is another noir game. The fun thing about this game, though, is it takes place, I believe, in a fictionalized version of Vancouver, Canada, which I've never visited. I really want to visit one day. I hear it's a, you know, a great city to visit. But um, again, I mentioned Blad Lloyd. Blad Lloyd, my friend, has actually, it lives in Canada. Uh, he's actually visited Vancouver, so it's really nice there. Gotta have Frankie to fix it when I have cash, so never. 
so right now, like I said, this is going to be funny. Uh, this is kind of a noir kind of game, at least from a, from at first glance, it looks like it. And I'm kind of hoping that things get really interesting. Okay, I guess I'll press X to pick up. Oh, I can't read any of these notes. No, <laughs> I guess I can't read any of these notes. Let me look at the, um, cork word. Oh, stop, stop. Nope, nope, go back. I messed it up. All right, let's try. Well, most of our food is grown. Why does open, where most of our food is grown? Why does open spaces in the city? More restrictions of public visits every year. Okay. Oh, so is this the city this game takes place in? Oh, okay. So they give you a little brief, I guess, um, the character gives you a little bit of brief description of like what's, what's what in the city. That's where the stuff gets made, doing honest work with your hands. Not a bad life, really. Okay, we've got, so that's the labor district. The greenery is where the food gets made. The labor district is where, I guess, obviously, ironically, the labor, probably a lot of the factories are. No one's idea of paradise. Mainly factories and cramped tenement blocks full of neglected souls. So that's probably what would be considered downtown, West End. Lower middle class villa. It's not gas town, but it's respectable enough. I grew up here on board, on the border with West End. Okay, so it's like the more... So we're the more... Ba okay, so you got the village where basically, I guess, where like the average Joe lives. Where all the fishing boats hang out. Plenty of warehouses and seriously sketchy dive bars, too. The docks, where the fishing ironically happens. Gas town, that's the dream. Well, if you're a burger snob who dreams of overpriced salad. It is nice and clean, though. Gas town, which seems like it's like the fancy part of town. Grandville, where the night comes to life. It's got rough edges, but it feels like home. Okay. Granville is probably the entertainment, would be considered the entertainment district. A uh, good place for a nice but expensive date. Museums, fancy music halls. I've not been for a long time. Okay, Vale Town seems like it's kind of right up, kind of similar to, kind of similar to an entertainment district, just a little more legal entertainment, uh, or less sketchy. Okay, Gas Town, Red Granville, and Top, Top Town, I guess, or whatever. Home to the high and mighty skyscrapers full of apes. Big shots and gated communities. They can keep it. Mama Helen Lauder taught me everything I know. And I've spent years trying to learn half of it. Jeez. My diploma project. Places of absolute solitude. Only action my camera sees these days is snapping fools, leaving places they shouldn't be in. Ah, Panty. You beautiful Panty? I don't know how to say that. Beautiful, dangerous renegade you. Maybe one day you'll settle down and call me again. Okay, so, okay, I like that they got the town set up, so we know a little bit about the town. Small, brief snippets. Okay, we're supposed to be cleaning up, I guess. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're supposed to be cleaning up for a client. I like the art style, by the way, and you haven't seen anything yet. Like, it's, uh, I'll watch these later. Probably not. That must be, that must be Mrs. Green. I do like the town setting. I mean, I like the graphic setting. It looks 2D, but you'll see what I mean later on when we get to the actual city. The graphics do a really cool thing. It's 2D with... You'll, you'll see. Alright, open the door. Excuse... Oh, oh, dead, I guess that's how you said? Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lauter. We spoke on the phone. I gather you have a case for me. Oh, you can choose the option. I can choose the option. Uh, let's... I'm gonna be gentle. At your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? Oh, um... Truth be told, my back's killing me. <laughs> Pregnancy puts pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. And your, fir your first kid? A third, actually. Huh, must be a handful. They can be, but they're the silver lining every day. I bet they're adorable. They are. Daisy, my eldest especially. She takes such good care of Elliot. So how can I help you today, Odette? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's missing. Things would be simpler if he was. What would be simpler? No, wait. Then what's the deal with him? Let's, let's, we're a detective. We, we're just ignore detective. We gotta get right into the nitty gritty of things. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours. Making weird excuses. You suspect he's cheating on you? I think so, but I'd need real proof, right? To go to the court. Court? Are you filing for divorce? 
That's right, and above all, I need something damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids. I... I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. It's the kids, Odette. I really need every edge I can get. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. I know it, this isn't easy, but it's right. Oh, no, so he got a freaking husband cheating on his wife. That's a, that's a cliche noir detective case if I've ever seen one. Yes, I'm finally being brave. For them, at least. Is he aggressive? Not physically, but he has a mean temper. Unpredictable. What makes you so certain he's having an affair? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work, and smelling funny. How late are we talking? Way past the kids' dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. What kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and... Something pungent, a kind of herbal stink. He's skipping work. I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. You caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Or at least I thought so. I'm taking the case. Let's talk final details. Sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to it from work. Where would I find him usually, I mean? Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No, but he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. What's his full name? Any al aliases? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jez. Where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. There's just the matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you bring me the photos. Will that suffice? Yes. Plus any un any unexpected expenses. Please be careful. Nobody can know we spoke. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. You can trust me, Odette. Don't let me down, Mr. Lotta. I trust you with my life. Of course, I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Oh, new objective. What's our objective? Objective, track Jeremy Green to find evidence of the infidelity that Odette can use in court. Okay. Is there anything else? Oh, insurance fraud, stolen cars, and shrink lovers. Should probably have been some of these old case files. Is there anything else, or is that just to head back to the door? Okay, I already did that. I don't think there's anything new there. Living room. Call mom, buy soap, bot, pay bills. Don't die. Alright, so there's nothing really here right now. No, I guess that's it. I guess there's really nothing here. All right, so let us. I'm suddenly getting some Gods Will Be Watching vibes with the graphics. If anybody's never played that, Gods Will Be Watching, Gods Will Be Watching is a very intra, very hard game. Let me first say it. it's a very hard game where essentially you get in the light of life or death predicaments, and your goal is to make sure that everyone lives. But there are some I believe that you could let everyone die except one person. Uh, and funnily enough, the next cutscene will have all of them alive, so it's a really weird game, but it's good. The thing that killed it for me was the ending. The ending, there's an epi there's an epilogue chapter, and the epilogue chapter pissed me off, because essentially, I'm not going to spoil it in case people want to play it, but essentially the ending pretty much was one of those, one of those endings that does a, that, let's just say makes the game pretty, makes the whole events of the game a consistent loop hopefully you can get what i'm saying by that but yeah one of those loop one of those endings that means the game is a loop of some kind and it really pissed me off 
All right, we're going to Grant. Ooh. I know what the thumbnail will be. Backbone. And like I said, stuff like this is good for me. Stuff like this is good for me to play because it, um... Oh, Grant. Grant. Stuff like this is fun for me to play because it's like it helps me get some experience for, you know, like stuff I'm working on. Granville smells like wet con concrete, overpriced fast food, and puke. My kind of battleground. Squirrel. Yo, old man! How's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? Uh, you could say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Uh, alright, goodbye then. I don't, because she, I remember, remember, remember Odette said don't tell, don't let other people know that we're looking for this guy. Or at least, you know, I guess people, oh, we can run. Okay, hold our right trigger. Oh, here we go. How do you say this name? Anta, Anta Tolly? Aye, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to on a fine evening like this? Hanteliam. Um, my beaver, how are Estrella and the kids? They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good, great. We even blessed the shepherd. Got a second land due soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another, wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks, he's a big one too. Essie's round as a watermelon. Anyway, the story I tell her. <laughs> Woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Uh, <laughs> funny. And so, <laughs> she just says to me with the arms of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Oh, boy. Women, man. Yeah, okay. Women, mysterious creatures. They love bread. So, we break the news to our boy, Victor. Son, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, Oh, no, a, a bro. What is it? What was it, Tolly? So, I tell him, <laughs> Mama and Papa work so hard so they let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like, uh, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Wait, the apes let us have another baby, huh? Sure is. Little Victor, poor souls, stopped laughing. Oh, Daddy, we're gonna be so happy. Me and baby bro will play all the time. And I say, sure, son. But here's a catch. There's a catch. You and Mom are gonna have to look after him. Cause two babies mean zero daddies. Cause daddies to work four shifts instead of two. Ha 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 ha. Well, that got depressing fast. You okay? I'll manage, I'll manage. Now, what'd you say you were doing here? I'm looking for a guy. Here's a picture. You seen him ever? Yeah, I'll see him. Barely the last kind of guy. Smell really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. It smelled it enough talking for both of us, huh? No idea where it'd be now. Guess the bite is as good as guess as any. It's a groupy place, though, eh? He smelled of what exactly? Ah, uh, you know, poopy coin to smell. Stale booze and perfume, herbs, awful, awful stuff. Thanks, Hit Hanley, you're a detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bye. Okay. Jeremy Green is a frequent visitor to the bite bar, find a way in. See what I mean? The graphics, I really like the style. The art style is really unique. It's got like a. 2d it's i don't know how they did it but i think it's like a 2d lay i think it's like a 2d layer or i think it's like a 2d sprite layer on top of a 3d layer because you can tell like look at the ground and the rain effects like they look like straight out of something modern a modern game like it's 3d but then like you know on top obviously you've got the 2d rogue they did a great job of story the rogue people watch more movies maybe the world wouldn't be so sad Cocktails in a movie. Sounds like a great plan for the weekend, actually. Mm. Eden Simmons is the hottest new jazz star. See her tonight, only at the bite. Is, oh, this is the bank she mentioned. Uh, the old dad mentioned. Yeah? You folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Yeah, why? Is Jed's around? And who are you? Uh, I don't want to, I don't want to be, I don't want to say I'm a private investigator. Let's say, we'll lie, we'll say Wallace. Wallace, Wallace, asshole hoes me money. 
I've been looking for him everywhere. <laughs> you and me both, pal. And Derek, good luck getting you back anytime soon. Oh, we'll pay if I can find him. If, if I can find him. See him today. Of course, but the wimp ass left work early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig, huh? <laughs> Something happened at work. I heard his contract not, is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Did you boys spend time with him outside work? Yeah, we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech. The bite, could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, Rack. I'll do just that. Oh, here's the bite. The bite. I definitely wouldn't fit in with that crowd. Wouldn't want to. I got, I'm getting 50s vibe from the clothing. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Perhaps a cup. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Give me a personal invitation. So, invitation signed by the great apes and I'll let you in. Deal? Um, sure. Bye. The great apes. This is the second time I've heard about the apes. Are the apes... Are they the ruling species of this world? Maybe? I'm going to be doing some detective work myself. Okay, this doesn't look very uh, promising. What's the intercom? Intercom. No answer. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk to this guy, Larry. Uh, Howard, well, I'll be damned. It's been a while. Wow, Larry. The one and only. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? Who you call an old, you old rascal? <laughs> Alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Who really expects to see anyone I've known in the back alley? Uh, what's going on? Uh, what are you up to? Wait, do you live here? Live? Have you seen how tough the crowd in here is? No, I live at the bridge. It, it's really not as bad as it sounds. I'm so sorry, Larry. Can I help in any way? Not really. <laughs> Thank you, though. Now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Nothing serious. Just messed up his marriage. Uh, like they do. What's he like? He's about my height. Chubby. Wears a green hat. I haven't seen him. Sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? That's weird. Have any ideas of how I could get in? What you could do is ask Johnny. He, he'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Your typical, like, hype and shatter fang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called Monkey Butt. Who comes up with these names? It's like they don't want you to do drugs. Monkey Butt? Yeah, where does this new thing's the shit? Though, perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it even have, does it have kind of a herbal stink? No first-hand experience. But I, I, I guess that could be a more delicate way to, to put it. You think this Johnny guy will help? Might take some convincing, but, but he's chill. I, I've seen him help people cut the line. His, his clients, I, I think. What do you know about the bite? Owners of Bloodworth, so lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth, the whole beer family? Crime family. Last year, head of the family up and died, and shit hit the fan. Hair ended up in prison. And the current owner's a relative? Yeah, she's a little more daughter or something. What's her deal? People say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece, starting with the bite. What are the rumors? Oh, all kinds of bullshit. How she's got an ape for a lover. Or that she was the one who got all the others killed so she could take over. Alright, hopefully that's enough to get me to the bite. Thanks. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon. Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. Oh, so the squirrel we met earlier, I guess. I want to look around the town, though, before I, just, I do anything. Luscious. $14.99 for a trim. I'll stick to the mere pair of scissors and a large whiskey. Foiling condition extra $5.99. Claw clip in from $9.99. Fur trimming from 9 
You know, that's not- Oh, press X to enter crouch mode, press X again to stand. That's not a lot of money nowadays. Now it's like 20 bucks where I live for like a haircut. Oh crap, Downey's on duty in the booth up ahead. I can't deal with him right now. Oh, we gotta hide from this guy. Oh. How far should I go before I move up? Okay, I guess we're good. Oh. Old Arthur's still tending to the shop. I say hi before he gets driven out by you, me, Mart. Maybe next time. Very dreary looking town. Rich people clothes. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Yikes. That's a that's something to say. That's a good comparison. Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora. Who then puked all over my new coat? Ah, memories. Garbage bin? Let's see. Socks, takeaway boxes, cigs. Aha, a tick to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Oh, can we give this to the guy? Good day to you. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Anything good happening for a change? Falu, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. I just want the headline. Front pages today are all... Great 8 parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. How's that news? It's the same every year. No way, the floats are different every time. Gonna sell mounds of nibbles dropped by. Thanks, see you around. Alright, can I keep... Oh, nope, that's a dead end. Alright. Well, that's a dead end. But yeah, I really like the art style. I like the town. It's got a very noir vibe to it. It's funny, because I'm playing... It's just funny to be playing two noir games at the same time. Black Sad, and I'm gonna duck again. I don't know if I'll get a game over or not if I get caught, but just to be... Rather be safe than sorry. Alright. Alright, so we gotta go... Wait, can we give the ticket to that guy at the bar? Hey. I have the ticket right here. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> You're a funny little fella. So can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you found in a dumpster, so no. But thanks for the good laugh. You're welcome. Can I... Oh, can I get in? No, don't test my patience. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Oh, that didn't work. I thought that was, I thought I was being smart. I was like, oh, I'll give him this little ticket I found in the dumpster and they'll let me in. And he's like, nope. I'm like, okay. Uh, let's talk to this squirrel guy. This guy does not look like a squirrel, by the way. I get, I get a fox vibes from the look. Yo, old man. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? I am. Yeah, I'm Johnny. What's it to you? I need to get into the bite. I bet you do, pal. But well, why should I care? I'm a de oh, no, 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 no. I was about to say, but I'm a detective. Nope. Listen, I heard it's the place to go for the good shit. Oh, you mean like that new school jazz? Oh, the great upholstery. Crap the crap. I know that the old monkey button there. Say what now? What idiot told you that? Oh, you know how it is. Word gets around. Don't have it. You had a luck, old fart. Just help me with the big guy up front. I mean, just help me out with the banters. That's so much to ask. Hank doesn't let in the old chump in for good reason. Say, I make you some pacto. What does Johnny get in return? Hello, I'm gonna open up. I, I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. I owe you one. You shitting me? Prove it, punk. Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Yes, so... All I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with his baba, too. And the trench goes just a final pitiful cherry on top of a crack cake. Weird hearing that from a fellow with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to the walls. Don't you find? Shut your mouth or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. You're so ugly when you're, you're, so ugly when you're angry. Stop chatting about my face. Don't look at it. Someone in the club needs my help. Do you understand? Oh, wait, good one, Johnny. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk trash talk him. Good one, Johnny. I can't, be I can't believe you're for real. What a riot! You know what? Screw it. Meet me at the entrance. I'll get you in. I can't wait to hear what happens to you in there. I aim to please. All right, let's meet him at the entrance. So, talk to the bounce bouncer. What are you waiting for? What do, you, what do you want? Here's Johnny. Hey, hey, Johnny. Oh, you bought my favorite customer, Stripper. Striper. You can come in. Don't cause any trouble. 
Thanks, go inside. Ooh. We got it to the club! Oh. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high in for my taste. Ooh. I think we're going... Oh, hold on, everyone, sorry. <laughs> well, the game's saved. I think I'm gonna stop here. Uh, I, yeah, we're gonna stop here. Oh, and there's even music that plays. Oh, I love it. I think we- I am gonna stop here, everyone. Um, I'm liking what's happening so far. I mean, this seems like, uh, the basic start to a noir detective story. So, basically, basically what's happening is, you know, a basic, uh, a basic infidelity case or missing persons case. And I guarantee you, things are not gonna be that simple. Because the way it's looking like... Things will get a little more interesting. But with that being said, though, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by the video. Uh, I cannot wait to continue through with this series. If you really like what you see, do not forget to like, comment, and or subscribe as I go through the lovely series that is Backbone. Um, and don't forget if you really like what I uh, and don't forget if you really like what I do don't be afraid to share my, don't be afraid to share my channel and also you could donate down uh, you could do uh, donate either to me either on coffee or PayPal if you want to help support this channel as I try to find new games to play and go through different uh, different equipment as the need arises with that being said everyone this has been fallen wolf Arr! and I'll see you all of you next time take care everyone Mwah! I love all of you Bye.